Darth Vader, look, I got you a Christmas gift. Isn't that cool? Your holiday spirit is impressive. Most impressive. Join me, and together we can rule the holidays. What? No, I'm an artist. I don't want to take over the galaxy. Why should I go with you? I am your father. Dad? It is your destiny. But I was going to Tashi Station to pick up some power converters. Hi everybody, welcome to the show. Today on Scare Dad, we are unboxing the Dark Lord of the Sith himself, Darth Vader. Let's get to it. My box arrived with a pretty big gash in it, so let's hope everything's okay. Okay, so right away, if you look at it, we've got the instructions on the box. We also have the paper instructions here. Right on top, we've got the lightsaber blades. Watch out, Palpatine. You think you're tough? I got two lightsabers. It's really too bad he didn't stop shooting lightning because he might have just survived that. Next on top, we have the boots. These things are massive. Check them out next to my feet. Holy crap. Also inside this one are all the posts for the legs and what I assume is the foam to fill out the legs as well. So next we get this cardboard insert. And here's everything else. Probably the spine. We've got an arm. Sweet ass belt. I think this is the chest. And what looks like some crazy abs. Just in case the order thought he was the only ripped one. Not quite. Here's a close up look of the Death Star. Looks like it's actually a separate hand that has this attached with wires for the lighting so yeah that's cool looking here is the death star christmas ornament and if you don't put this on your vader figure you're probably still hanging on your tree here is the lightsaber hand looks cool blade screws in right there i'm guessing this is the arm that moves probably. Here is the shoulder armor. I could cut these things off. I could make my own Darth Vader suit. Probably have to leave this part out for the belly, but cool. Shoulder piece to protect the motors. Bag of clothing. Here is the helmet. Now I've heard other people say the helmet has come deformed like this too. I believe a heat gun or a hair dryer will take care of it. So we're going to check that out because that just looks bad. Otherwise though, it's pretty decent looking. You can see the, the red in the eyes there. Not bad, but we're definitely gonna fix that. Looks like we got the waist piece. So we do have another hand, so that's good. You just want a, a hand with nothing in it. Here is the mechanism. In case you forgot, it's a Star Wars prop. So this is interesting. So this is the base, right? But it does have these to go over it, which are just that kind of that Imperial look platform. You could probably, I don't know if I'll do it, It'd be a lot of work, but you could probably cut these out and run lighting underneath it. So you'd have that light coming up. Could be a cool effect. Probably not going to do that. At least not right now. We'll take these stickers off though. And this piece, if you can see, it's got a piece of Velcro on it. So maybe that's to keep the cape down. And we just have the adapter. So we can get rid of this guy. So there it is. I just used a hairdryer on it. It didn't even break out the heat gun. Less than five minutes and it's pretty good. So you can definitely fix it. It's not a huge problem, but they should have packed it better. All right, so the uh, bar should be further to the back. So we can connect B and C together. Okay, oh. Okay, we got B and C together. And just like that, you just slide it right over the top. All right, so next we're gonna put D into these here and it's 
slide the boot over that has the matching line. So we're going to take these out. You're going to slide G on. And then these little hooks on the bottom are actually going to hold the foam up. You're going to rest the foam just like that to keep it from falling into the boot. And that's why the foam is labeled H because it goes on top of G. Next, we're going to take out the clothing. It's quite a few different pieces, but but I is the main uniform. And uh, it's got the control panel, the sticker that doesn't want to come off, and another sticker that hates me. Don't really need the sticker to tell me where the sensor was. Sticker residue. Worst spot. I have to get some goo gone and get that off after. I hate stickers. We'll say the materials. Probably better than I thought it would be, so that's good. There's a hole in the back so we can continue working. Next we're going to put on the waist piece. Tight fit, but we got it. Now we're going to put the mechanism on top. All right, this thing's already too tall. I got to pull the camera up. Now I want us to plug the adapter in now, which means if we don't do it now, it's probably going to be a pain in the butt later. Plug it right in there. Cool. So now we're going to put the chest piece on, which is right there, and then M the shoulders. Okay, now we are going to put the spine in. That's going to hook right into the back here. We are going to bring this up. Might need to do something to fill out the legs a little better so you don't get any, any of that going on. Probably some plastic bags though, won't be a problem. O and P. So O is his left arm. So we're going to put that through. Now let's put the other arm in. It's a little latch that this bar slides onto right here. Also got to attach the wire. <clears throat> There's a couple wires for the arm. So make sure you attach those. I didn't. First, just going to put the regular hand on him. So the weird thing is there's nothing to connect that to. Oh, nope. Okay. I missed the spot. See these? These are the outside part of the glove. God, I hate stickers. Do some of them. Oh, they put it on both of them. Come on. One sticker down, one to go. Please come off easy. Oh, aha! So that goes over and then you can put the hand on. That looks a lot better than being able to see the uh, foam sticking through. And we'll stick this on. And then there's a wire for the lightsaber hand. So you're going to pull that out, pull that out, connect it. And this is nice. It's not actually a prong. It's actually got one of these button latches. So, okay. It's looking pretty awesome. Got to put the crotch piece on and make sure you protect the bits. And, huh. Maybe because this is, all right, hold on, let me. All right, what I was missing was, there's actually a place for the two posts on the back of this to hook in. And then these Velcro right up under here. And just that Velcro to the side, cool. Now we get the wires connected in the back here. Okay, it's a lot of wires back here. Make sure you don't miss any of them. So now we put this on and through the holes of the, this plastic, there's a couple slots for these poles, just like that. And an awful sticker, please come off. Come on T, you're the name of one of my favorite celebrities. But I pity the fool. And now we put on the head and another. Got off a sticker that they had to put on the front. Stickers hate me. They hate me so much. It's mutual. Why would you put a sticker here? You could put it on the back. Better yet, you could put it underneath on the back. Now I gotta clean this off too. Probably gonna wanna get some goo gone to put this guy together. All right. Now. All right, finally, I get all the wires hooked up. Is it cutting off his head? Now we can see his whole head. Look how big he is compared to me. I know he's big, but he looks huge in person. Vader's all buff in the chest, but his arms look all wimpy like mine. 
it's time to put on the iconic cape. This sticker came right off. Okay, so this cape is a nice shiny material, decent thickness, not bad. And where's the top? There it is, okay. There is a piece of Velcro on the back at the bottom that does connect there. Let's give him the iconic red blade. And there he is, your completed Darth Vader. And right away, without plugging him in, he looks better than I thought. The sticker residue annoys the crap out of me. But otherwise, he's intimidating. These pieces look pretty good. Once you fix the helmet, I'm pretty impressed with him. But let's turn him on. Of course, and now to turn them on, you gotta go under the cape, open the clothing, make sure the volume's not super loud, and figure out where the hell the switch is. That's probably lights only mode, which looks pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty awesome. One thing I don't love is the light on the blade is darker, and then you get that bright tip at the end. Eh, that could have been better, but looks cool. Now, makes you wonder, do I plug everything into the right place? So I had two cables that I switched. Jeez. Uh oh. So, interesting. When his arm goes up, it is too tall for the ceiling. That's a problem. So because he's too tall for my living room, I actually had to stack about probably a good four inches underneath the back. So he's tilted forward. And so the lightsaber sometimes just scrape the ceiling now, but at least you can see him in motion. switch out the hand we're gonna put the pumpkin on and then we'll do Christmas after let's start with Halloween all right so let's try the lights only so you got a pretty good light up effect on the pumpkin it actually looks better on camera than it does in person but oh I'm sorry I did not see that you caught me with my stickers on okay there is a nice glow effect to the pumpkin Right, so you get some light coming through these parts, but that part's pretty dark. Cool, it looks good. Your holiday spirit is impressive. Most impressive. It is your destiny. Join me, and together we can rule the holiday. So now we're going to switch out the pumpkin for the Christmas. Less excited about this one, but let's see how it looks. One more sticker to take off. Oh, come on. Why does the last sticker have to do this? All right, that wasn't so bad, but I realize it's not the last sticker. I still have to do the other lightsaber blade. 
Okay, let's see Christmas mode. We're going to take this off. We're going to take this off. And honestly, most likely, these will never go on them again. The pumpkin's not bad for Halloween, but I don't know. All right, so there we have it. The Dark Lord of the Sith himself, Darth Vader, and he is looking absolutely amazing. I love the detail on him. I love the light up on his chest and his belt looks so awesome. The sculpt is great. The quality of the plastic and the boots and the gloves is awesome. The helmet looks really good once you use a hair dryer to fix that bend. However they packed it, couldn't have been done better. You probably should have had a box for the head so it didn't get warped, but use a hair dryer. I wouldn't even probably use a heat gun. The hair dryer was enough. Not even five minutes. I got it back to this. So he looks great. I love the fact that they gave him that subtle red color in the eyes. Really happy with the quality of the costume. I didn't expect it to be that good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I love the base. Now, if you really wanted to do something cool, like I said before, you can maybe cut out some of those holes and have like a blue light shining through it or something. Honestly, I'm probably not going to go through that much work, but something you could do. The blade doesn't look great. It looks a little better on the video, but even there you can see how bright the tip is how bright it is down here but it gets pretty dark here like in person i know i've got all the lights on this doesn't really even look lit up so i wish that we could put a strip throughout the whole thing luckily they gave me a test blade because i will never use this again i have no interest in a candy cane blade it's weird i don't get it so it'll be a good blade to test to see if i could get a led light strips in here to make it look better and then the other big thing is just the speaker. It sounds terrible. It does. And, and I'm not a huge fan of the holiday phrases. I didn't like them for Yoda. I don't like them now. They just, eh, I don't know. Like, who really wants to see that? We want to see Darth Vader saying Lord of the Sith stuff. No, I am your father. Impressive, most impressive, but you are not a Jedi yet. That's the stuff we want to see him say. We don't really want to say, hey, holiday stuff is impressive, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. He's super cool. I do love him. You can't even get a stand-up prop replica that looks this good for three times the money. For $300, he's absolutely amazing. To walk into my room and have it look like Darth Vader is just standing there is awesome. I'm going to see if I can do something where I can change out his audio, get dialogue from the movie, a uh, better speaker, maybe even just get a breathing sound for when he's standing there. So if you could have the breathing sound and then have the audio come in, when he's triggered, it would be super awesome. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. I think he's absolutely amazing. And there's a few things to nitpick, but in reality, I am so happy with this guy. I think he's amazing. If you like Star Wars at all, you need to get him. You will never get a Darth Vader replica that looks this good for this price ever again. Do you think he's the chosen one? I sure do. The Dark Lord of the Sith himself, the one and only Darth Vader, is standing in my living room and I would pay a lot more money than I did for this. I think he's amazing. Let me know what you think down below. And that's it. I am Scare Dad. Spooky season's coming. So go get ready. Dad, great news. I told everybody that you're my father. It's going to be all over the Imperial News. Ha <laughs> ha. No!